Back in 2002, Newsweek put out a magazine with M. Night on the cover calling him the next Spielberg, advertising the movie Signs. Obviously, his career didn't go that path. 20 years later, another UFOs alien movie. I want to put Jordan Peele in a magazine, and I want to say the next Spielberg. Nope stars Daniel Kula and Kiki Palmer and is about the residents of a lonely gulch in inland California bear witness to an uncanny and chilling discovery. Now walking into my IMAX showtime tonight, I was beyond excited. Jordan Peele alone had me excited for this movie because I just reviewed both his first two movies, Get Out being a masterpiece and Us being an iconic horror film right now. And with this movie, I didn't know what to fully expect. There's been a bunch of theories about the poster, the trailer, everything about this movie. All I know is it's a Jordan Peele movie. I am there day one and I'm seriously just awe inspired by this movie because it truly is Close Encounters of the Third Kind meets Jaws mixed in Jordan Peele. This is the movie I wanted. My biggest praise has to be Jordan Peele himself. I think we go ahead and say he's a great writer. But every movie he's done so far, which is only three, he gets better in his directing style. And in this movie, it is a spectacle and very awe-inspiring for me as a young movie director. I want to be a director one day. It's gonna happen. And I want to make movies just like this and his other ones. Because Jordan Peele, what he does with this movie is seriously a 1970s blockbuster. Because this isn't a superhero movie. It's not a remake. It's not a sequel. It's not a reboot. It is an original script from him with a good budget from Universal Studios in a summer slot, and he nails the character moments, the themes, and like I said, that spectacle. Just the moments you want, the moments you come to the movie theater for are in this movie, especially for me, because he had a little bit of that horror genre in it, because honestly, this isn't a horror movie. This is a sci-fi horror, you could say. I would morally say it is a science fiction movie that I loved. The performances by everyone are great in this movie. Daniel Kula, who is an Oscar winner, is such a stone-faced, quiet, leading man in this movie. He was perfect. He was so just set on this farm. It's his dad's farm, and he's going to protect this farm at all costs. Then he has his sister, who is Kiki Palmer, who is very comedic humor type, but is a character and is very important. And this brother or sister relationship great. You love them in this movie. You want them to survive the entire movie and there are very thrilling and danger moments for both these characters and they're both just fantastic. It to me just watching it felt like Alan Grant and Ellie from the first Jurassic Park. Characters you love and you want to see survive this big event happening on their farm because it, this movie is just trying to tell you so many themes, which Jordan Peele loves doing, and it very much worked for me. But the movie always had that brother-sister relationship against these things out there, and I really appreciate the movie always feeling grounded with these characters. Now, technically, this movie is amazing. The cinematography is outstanding. There is lighting effects, and there are certain shots with the lighting. I don't know how they did. Seriously, it's amazing. I'm like, how did you do that? I, I want to know how you did that. And with this just amazing score behind everything, it's great. It really reminds me of Close Encounters John Williams. Like, this music is very good. I'm definitely going to listen to it while I edit this review. Like, it's so good. And with this, like, the cinematography and the music and the landscape, it just looks so amazing. I mean, this movie makes you afraid of clouds. Seriously, you walk outside tomorrow and you look up at the clouds after watching this movie, you're like, is there something in the cloud right now? It's very kind of icky. Like I said, this movie is not really horror. It is a sci-fi movie, science fiction, and it deals with a lot of CGI that I don't want to get into spoilers of what of, but I will say there's one animal that you do see early on. You could tell it's CGI, but I mean, it, it worked for me. It was like, it's CGI, but it's not like dog crap CGI. But speaking of that, my only little nitpick, like seriously, very little, there is a subplot that involves Steven Yeun's character's background. 
This plot line is amazing. It's dark, really dark, and I loved it. It's probably the scene in the movie that everyone's gonna probably remember for the most of the general audiences and call the scariest scene because a lot of people think this is a horror movie. They're gonna love that. And you know what? I did. But the very end of this movie, it really doesn't matter. Like, at least for me, first viewing, I'm gonna go back and rewatch it, see if it has any type of slightly meaning everything. But looking at it, I'm like, what did this plotline have to do with the story? Like, the overall arch of this movie. I wanna rewatch it to see if I can notice little things, because the themes of this movie, like Jordan Peele always does, is amazing. Just fall, just going in society today, throwing in little things about people and how they advertise themselves and their job. It's great to watch. And Jordan Peele, his spectacle of his direction is literally inspiring to me. After the movie was over, I literally considered watching the next Showtime in IMAX. This movie is my kind of movie. I love this movie. I love this movie. This is a movie I want to rewatch in theaters multiple times. I want to study certain things about this movie. Jordan Peele has seriously become one of my favorite directors working ever. He's only made three movies. And this is my favorite one. This is a movie I need everyone to go see into a theater right away. I loved it, and I think a lot of you are, but I have seen a few people been very divisive. And you know what? For me personally, I love it. I will give the movie Nope an A+. Plus. Seriously, I, I love this movie, even though I have a little nitpick with this the subplot, but you know what? I, I There are scenes in this movie that had goosebumps up my arm, and I was just inspired watching this movie. I loved this movie. I really cannot wait to watch it again. Seriously, I haven't said that to a movie in a long time. This is a movie I want to watch every summer. This original movie, original by the way, I know a lot of people love the superheroes and stuff, originality, you can't beat it. Jordan Peele, you're the man. Good job. Anyway guys, you guys enjoy this review and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye everyone.